Hi guys, my name is Eva. As you may know, I have a channel full of tutorials and reviews and other stuff like that. And today I'm going to try this brand new Edit Essentials pack by Rampant Design Tools. And it includes 220 movie files, so that's a pretty big pack to try. And the resolution is 4K, but I only have like HD footage, so I'm going to scale it down to make it fit. But it's good to know that it's super huge, so you get a, a lot of quality in the files. It took me like a day to download it because it's 59 gigs. It's pretty huge, but it's really worth it. It's really high quality and it's something you're going to use for a long, long time. Right now it sells at $118, but they often have a bunch of sales. If you want to get some of the clips for free and try them, you can go to 4kfree.com. So simply register brings you to another page where there's a bunch of different packages and you can download some samples from each. It's also in 4K and you really get to see the quality that you can always expect from Rampant Design Tools. Compatible with all editing and compositing apps. Just drag and drop and go. So we're gonna try it in Premiere Pro. I actually didn't like look at them. I just placed a bunch of clips on the timeline. These are in um, 1080, 1920, just regular HD. I made some folders for each type of category. So we get, if we see here, we get film, flares, impact lights, light leaks, overlays, <laughs> style mats, and transitions. And we're gonna try them all and let's go crazy. When you open the edit essential film folders, you get a bunch of overlays. So what I like to do is to click on one and then I press shift. I select all of them, drag and drop them on the second layer. So now I get to watch them. But as I mentioned earlier, they are in 4K. So I'm just going to scale them down a little bit. So I go in my FX setting here. I feel it should match now. <laughs> then I'm going to control C, copy the motion I just made for the scale. I'm going to select all my clips, my overlays, and I am going to control V. So now they should all be scaled down to my HD size. So now you have to play with the blending mode and you can just use the middle mouse button and you'll see that every time you choose a different blending mode, you get a different type of effect. It's at darken now, multiply, you get more of the effect on the side. It really depends on what your clip is. You will have to choose a different blending mode depending on what type of overlay you put on top. So if you just want to apply multiply to all your clips, you could do the same thing. You could just go in opacity and control C and then you would select a bunch of them. Then I do control V and it will apply the same blending mode to all the clips I selected all at once. So they worked really well for all these uh, black and white ones where it's just some film that goes on top of my picture. But as soon as the colors pop in, I feel like it's pretty harsh, the blending mode I chose. So I'm just going to continue scrolling down to find another. Screen looks good. So you can get a real cool film effect in like two seconds. You just drag and drop it. You change the blending mode and voila. So that's what you get with the film essential. So same thing. I just click on the first one. I press shift and I click on the last one, I go back on top and I drag and drop them on the second layer. Just like we did before, I'm going to scale it down at 51 and I'll copy my motion. I select all of them and I paste it Control V. So now you can see what they look like. Some of them are anamorphic. You could just scale it a little bit more here and you could also move the position where the flare happens. Pretty badass. If you look at science fiction movies, they abuse that effect. Like, there's so many. If you add some color correction and some dramatic music, then... It looks awesome with text too, if you just want to add some pop of color. And you can get some of the flares on the 4kfree.com website, for free, obviously. And you can use this as a transition too. Like here it's so wide that under you could switch to another clip then you get a cool transition. The next one is the impact light. These are more for just an impact at some point in your clip. So I'm gonna go with screen today, live decision. If you wish to change the colors of the effect, you can go in video effects 
color balance you just drag and drop it on your overlay clip and you can change the hue so if you really li like one of the clips but the color is not the one you want you can always just change the color with color balance let's try the next one light leaks drag and drop again i have to resize oh that's so pretty is there someone in the water hi so now we're gonna try the overlays wow even just that with text on top would be so cool. <laughs> Let's try soft light maybe. Oh, that's good. It's so pretty. Don't you just want to pet him? Like he looks so soft. Let's continue with rampant and essential style mats. Style mats are super awesome, but they are a little bit more complex to work with. So when you work with style mats like this, you'll notice that there's an alpha channel where you see the white rectangles. This is where the information is and all the rest is completely transparent. So if you want your clip to appear in the rectangle, you will have to add a track mat because you want to track the mat. So you go in effect, drag the track mat key on your clip. In the effect section, you go and you choose matte alpha and video 2 is your layer where the mat are. In the FX control, I copy my track mat, I select all my clips and I paste it. Everything really looks good with the style mats. It's a really fast and easy way to stylize your videos. Now let's try the transitions. Okay, I'll go with screen, YOLO, uh, select all of them, paste it. Oh, it's really pretty. I love when the, the more warm ones just pop in. Looks like fire. Oh, oh, this is so nice. There's some glitch ones. All right, so to use them as transitions, you can place it in between two clips, but you can also use it as a mat because there's some transparency in the clip and there are some parts with the actual information. To create a transition like this, you can choose your first clip, then you place your second clip on top of the first clip where you want it to start. And I'm going to drag a transition from Rampant Edit Essential. I just place it where I want it to happen. And I am going to use a track mat key and place it on the second layer. And I'll choose the video tree layer. So now every time that there is something under this transition layer, instead of seeing the actual clip from Rampant, we're going to see the clip I placed under. So if I move my clip a little bit before, we are only going to see my second clip. So that's how you can create your own glitch transitions. And that's it for the Edit Essentials pack. I hope you appreciated my demonstration and I really had fun trying them. I think they're so cool. I'm a big fan. You've seen me using their products in many of my videos. Yeah, I'm really happy that I got to try this pack. I hope you're gonna try the 4K free website to get a bunch of free clips from their packages. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you like my video. Have a lot of fun editing guys and I'll see you soon in another video.